Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. Oh, been a long day. I'm up here at Willie's place, or down here at Willie's place. Yeah, Willie ain't got nothing to do with it no more, but it used to be the place on Carl's Corner. Yeah, back in the heyday. They had a bar down here, a good restaurant. Willie was known to visit the place periodically. Right over there where I'm looking, you can't see it. That's where he uh, got biodiesel started. And Willie was a big influence in getting that started. So a lot of history right here. The place burned down once many a year ago and Carl rebuilt it. Carl and Willie were good friends. Then it burned down again after they got the uh, biodiesel going, if I remember correctly. Carl said, I ain't rebuilding it. I don't want to. So, uh, Willie helped him rebuild it. I guess that's when he became partners or whatever in it. It never did take off again. It took him a couple years to get it rebuilt and all that. And it just never did trucking and done start changing. All these new age drivers out here, these new air drivers. Yeah, well, it's a petrol nowadays. They ain't got the bar over there. I went in there to eat dinner. It's it's a petrol. Uh, nothing to brag about. Nothing to really complain about. It's a petrol. But I stopped here for old time's sake, and I've run out of hours. I uh, want to talk to you. Imagine that, right? I got uh, three videos I want to make tonight. I won't post them tonight because I just posted like four. And I did one on the Facebook channel. Oh, let me turn that down. Sorry, folks. Y'all need to remind me when I got that air turned up. But, uh, those pointed at me. First one was a requested one from last night. Well, kind of, sort of. He didn't really request it. He, she, whoever it was. But uh, they had read one of my, or watched one of my videos. And, and they said what irked them was the hammer lane. Vehicles hanging out in the hammer lane. I came down through Dallas today. Went up through it yesterday. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I know what you mean. They drive the Guess what, people? Real simple rule. If we're passing you on the right, you're messing up. Pretty simple rule. I have been told, don't know, but I have been told by some younger generation drivers that they actually tell them, their trainers, who still need trained, Mosquito, he didn't make it, uh, I've been told that the trainers are teaching these young people or young drivers not necessarily in years, but in, in experience, that uh, you need to hang out in the middle lane because you don't know what way you're going to have to turn up the road. The road might fork off. Really? Can't read signs? Uh, tell them that it's better to hang in the middle line than a uh, lane than have to deal with the traffic merging on and off. Really? You're creating a bottleneck. You are being a hazard. You need to get ticketed. The law says slower vehicles stay right. It don't say if you're doing the speed limit you can hang over there, or if you're doing five over, you can hang out over there, or even if you're doing five over. 
five under, five over, five. If traffic is passing you, get your butt to the right. It's that simple. Now that being said, we used to run a lot of freight down to Orlando when I was doing the trade show business. Atlanta to Orlando. Man, did I get burnt out on 75. And uh, I got talking to some of the locals down there in our warehouses. And uh, we get talking trucking. And I literally asked them point blank. I said, why are y'all hanging out in that middle lane, slowing us down? Don't you know we can't get in that hammer lane in that far left lane? No, didn't know that. I said, there's signs everywhere saying no trucks left lane. You don't see them? No, can't say that I do. And that was by a lot of people. So for some of the four wheelers, I cut them a minor bit of slack for not being able to see a road sign. How can you be driving up and down the road and not read your road signs as you're going? How do you know what's going on? It makes no sense to me. But for you big trucks, for you to be hanging out in that middle lane or that hammer lane, when we're restricted and all this other nonsense and you're blocking up traffic, please get your butt to the right. And the uh, 63 mile an hour truck trying to pass the 62 mile an hour truck, stop it. Five plus miles to pass each other, really? Just stop it. And that one that's getting passed, how about touching your brakes for one second and let that pull over? You know he's going to do the same thing that you're doing. Talk about a snail and a turtle racing, please. It's called common, common courtesy. Don't either one of you look in your mirrors and see that three mile of traffic you got backed up behind you or do you don't not care? Or is it funny to you? Maybe it's amusing. Folks, we really need to work on some of our driving habits out here. Some of them are just getting plumb ridiculous. And unfortunately, y'all ain't sharing this video enough to get to all the people that's doing it. Ah, oh, it don't matter how much you share, people. We still can't get them all. They're still going to be out there. We still got to deal with them. You like me coming through Dallas today. I almost got perturbed. It's hard to get me aggravated anymore. Had one of them big trucks right there. No trucks in the left lane. He's right there. Two lanes to his right. He could have moved over. No, 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 no. So I have to move over and slowly work my way around him on the right. Really? Really, driver? Ain't you the professional? No. That's my venting on that one. I might have more coming up here in a minute. Let's see if these are any vettable ones. Let's see. Yep, yep, I'm going to vent on that one. That one, no, that ain't venting. That's just trying to teach you a little bit. The new drivers. This next one's another venter. So, get ready. Here I come. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Good evening.